Hi there, this is E.T. from etheli.com and this is a video to uh, shy, try and demonstrate some of the effects of IMD on uh, FPV frequencies in the 5.8 band. So the other day, uh, my friend Bob and I got together and we wanted to try to see if we could demonstrate some of these effects that are uh, predicted by the IMD tables. So we got three of the small micro transmitter, camera transmitter units that are rated at 25 milliwatts. Um, so on the screen you see a monitor that's receiving a signal from one of these units that's about uh, 10 feet away and it's pointed at a tablet computer showing the, uh, showing the text you see. Now um, for the first frequency, we're monitoring that unit running at 5685. Now, one of the things that's out there is that um, if you have a unit at 5685 and someone else is broadcasting at 5925, some people have said that the, that 5925 will step on this signal. So, so the first thing we wanted to do was to try to uh, see if that's a real thing, a real interaction just between these two frequencies, or if it's really something else happening with IMD. So first we're receiving at 5685, and then we take another unit um, that's pretty close to the receiver, which you see right here in front. And so with that unit running at 5925, and we're really we're quite close to the receiver and the antenna, and as you can see, that there's very little direct effect just between these two frequencies. So then we're going to try adding to the mix uh, another transmitter at 5800. So first we put on the 5800, and if we get really close, there's going to be a little bit of effect between those two, but not really a big deal. But if we add in the third, so we have the three going at once, then we get a really bad interference and a really bad IMD effect. And um, even if we, uh, we move the little two transmitters a little ways away, there's still a, a lot of interference. And so this really demonstrates an IMD effect with three transmitters going at once, and what you get. So then we unplug the one at 5800, and now we're back to just the 5925 unit again, and there's you know, not a lot of interference just from that. So and then for our next test, we wanted to try three different fat shock frequencies. So we're monitoring fat shock one at 5740, and we bring in one transmitter. Um, at Fat Shark three at fifty, excuse me, at Fat Shark five at fifty eight twenty, and um, no big deal, just between those two. Then we bring in, and if we add to the mix another transmitter at fifty seven eighty, which is Fat Shark three, then we get a whole lot of IMD interference, and. The other thing that's interesting about this combination is that if the guy who's on 5780 doesn't get all that much interference, but when he powers on, he really hammers the two other frequencies at Fat Shack 1 and 5, the 5740 and the 5820. And then this is showing with only the, the 5740 and the 5780 happening, you get some crossover because those are only 40 megahertz apart. So to kind of show this other effect, if we're monitoring that third frequency, the 5780, and we bring in the other two, you know, we get we get some crossover here because that's only 40 megahertz away at 5740. So then we add the 5820, and you know we get some interference, some IMD, but you see it's really not as as bad as what the other guys are seeing. And so what this shows is you can have situations even with just the three fat shock frequencies at F1, F3, and F5 where you, you think you're, you're spread out enough and it's, it's not a big problem. And the, and the third person comes in at 5780 and he doesn't even see that much interference. But 
the two guys out there at F1 and F5 are getting a lot of interference. So anyways, I hope this just at least um, begins to show um, some evidence of the real IMD effects. Um, the other thing we didn't do that we maybe we'll try to do in another test in another video is to show that there are other sets of frequencies that are predicted by the IMD tables that shouldn't have as heavy an I IMD effect. And um, it'd be interesting to see how those pan out. But that's what we got for now. Um, and thanks for watching.